What's up guys, we're here at Glacier National Park in Montana, and in this video, we're going to show you our top things to do here, including some of the most amazing hikes. So hope you enjoy it. Glacier National Park is located in the northwest of the state of Montana, at the U.S.-Canada border. Spanning over a million acres, this stunning park is renowned for its towering mountains, glistening lakes, cascading waterfalls, abundant wildlife, and of course, its beautiful glaciers. The park can be broken up into different areas to explore. The most popular and accessible parts include the Going to the Sun Road, Many Glacier, and Two Medicine. In this video, we'll cover these areas by sharing our top 10 things to do in Glacier National Park, including easy hikes, hard hikes, and non-hiking activities. We also include five useful travel tips to help you get around the park at the end of the video. Now let's dive in. We are Zach and Ina. We make helpful videos about destinations around the world so you can easily plan your own adventures. The Two Medicine area is located in the southeast of the park. This area feels a little more off the beaten path, as it doesn't receive the same number of visitors as the going to the Sun Road or Many Glacier, but the scenery is just as spectacular. Besides taking in the stunning views of Two Medicine Lake from the shores, you can also take a boat tour to appreciate the tranquility of this landscape, or hike a number of scenic trails. We included a link with hiking trail options in the description below the video. Lake McDonald is accessed via the west entrance near West Glacier. It's the largest and most popular lake in Glacier National Park, boasting crystal clear waters and picturesque surroundings. There are many things to enjoy here. You can take a leisurely stroll along the lake, bask in the sun, take a scenic boat tour, rent a kayak, or attend an evening program at the Apgar Campground Amphitheater. You can also find the historic Lake McDonald Lodge sitting at the edge of the lake which was built in 1914. It's worth taking a look inside. The 50 mile long going to the Sun Road takes you from West Glacier to St. Mary. It's the most scenic drive in the entire park, winding through the mountains over the Continental Divide. Driving the entire length takes about one and a half hours, but you'll need more time if you want to include some stops along the way. There are numerous turnouts where you can park and safely enjoy the view. Our favorite stops included the McDonald Falls, Sacred Dancing Cascade, Red Rock Point, The Loop, Paradise Meadow, St. Mary Lake Overlook, and Wild Goose Island Lookout. The latter lookout is especially mesmerizing at sunset. Avalanche Lake Trail is a moderate out and back hike with about 800 feet or 250 meters of elevation gain. It starts at the Trail of the Cedars and continues through a lush forest along Avalanche Creek until you get to the picturesque lake itself. Once you get to the edge of the lake, you can also decide to continue along the shoreline. That adds about 1.6 miles to the hike, offering different angles of the surrounding mountains. Keep in mind that this trail is one of the most popular ones in the entire park, so it's best to hike earlier or later in the day. Leaving from Logan Pass, the Hidden Lake Overlook is another popular short hike in Glacier National Park. 
A combination of boardwalks and gravel trails take you through the gorgeous alpine meadow. Along the way, you have the opportunity to witness the park's rich wildlife, including bighorn sheep. We even spotted a grizzly bear in the far distance. The trail is about three miles round trip with 574 feet of elevation gain. We consider this an easy hike, especially when compared to some of the others in the park that we'll cover later in this video. Another way to explore the park's pristine lakes is by hopping on a boat tour. We joined a tour at St. Mary Lake, which departs from the Rising Sun boat dock. The cruise lasted about an hour, allowing us to take in the beauty of the surrounding peaks, small islands, and glacial carved valleys. Our guide also took some time to explain the geology of the lake and area while we enjoyed the views. But if you're interested in exploring other lakes in the park, there are also boat tours available on Lake McDonald, Two Medicine Lake, Swift Current Lake, and Josephine Lake. Alongside St. Mary Lake, you can also find a number of cascading waterfalls. The St. Mary and Virginia Falls Trail takes you from the lake's edge through a forest that was burned in July 2015. After taking in the regrowing forest at the start of the trail, you'll reach a two-tiered waterfall. From here, you can continue up the trail to the Virginia Falls, which are even more impressive in our opinion. The hike to both waterfalls and back takes about two hours to complete. Cracker Lake is likely the most beautiful lake that you'll find in the park. The trailhead is located near the Many Glacier Hotel in the Many Glacier area of the park. The hike is about 13 miles round trip and has an elevation gain of over 1,600 feet. And although the distance is long, the ascent throughout the hike is quite gradual. This is why we would rate this trail as moderately difficult. You can find the complete hiking route overview in the description below the video so that you can follow it on your phone during your own hike. It's quite a long way on a horse trail as well as in the forest, but once you get to the lake, it's just amazing. Another must-do hike in Glacier National Park is the Highline Trail. This trail follows the Continental Divide, providing breathtaking views of soaring peaks, alpine meadows, and vast glaciers. There are different ways to hike this trail, but we highly recommend doing it point to point, from Logan Pass to the Granite Park Chalet, and then finishing on the Loop Trail. If you do it this way, the elevation gain is quite minimal, and you don't have to hike back the same way. As you venture along the trail, you'll come across the Grinnell Glacier Lookout, a side trip that is well worth the detour. This steep extra segment of the hike is about 1.2 miles round trip and includes two amazing viewpoints. Be aware that the parking lot at Logan Pass fills up quickly, so come early. The added bonus of getting here early is the shade that's provided on this extremely exposed trail. If you're finishing on the loop trail like we did, you can take the free shuttle back to Logan Pass at the end once you reach the Going to the Sun Road. Finally, 
Our favorite hike in the entire park is the Grinnell Glacier Trail. This is because it's absolutely stunning from the beginning to the end. The trail starts from a parking lot nearby the Many Glacier Hotel and is approximately 10.5 miles round trip. On your way to Grinnell Glacier, you'll come across picturesque lakes, alpine scenery, waterfalls, wildflowers, and many viewpoints. So just before you get to the glacier at the top, you can make a nice stop at this viewpoint and you can see all the different layers and the lakes below that you came from. After visiting the glacier, we spotted lots of wildlife on our way down, including a bear, moose, and mountain goats. You can also shorten this trail by taking the scenic boat ride across Swift Current Lake and Lake Josephine. However, this ride requires an additional fee. This was our top selection of things to do and hikes in the park. But of course, there are numerous other trails to choose from. For example, Red Rock Lake and Falls is another short trail option in the Many Glacier area. We really enjoyed the red-hued rock formations along this trail. And if we had the chance, we would have also hiked the Iceberg Trail, but unfortunately, it was closed due to a food-conditioned bear in the area. Here's a short list of other beautiful hikes that you can check out in the park. As we promised at the beginning of the video, we'll now share our top five travel tips for Glacier National Park. First, the best time to visit Glacier is typically during the summer months, from June to September. The Going to the Sun Road, which is the main scenic road in Glacier National Park, is subject to seasonal closures and opening times due to snowfall and maintenance. The road typically opens by late June or early July, but the exact date varies year to year, depending on snowmelt. It remains open until mid-October, weather permitting. You can get updates on the official National Park website. The Going to the Sun Road offers stunning vistas and a thrilling drive, but due to its narrow lanes, sharp turns, and steep drop-offs, there are certain regulations for the type of vehicles that are allowed. Vehicles longer than 21 feet or wider than 8 feet are not allowed on the road. This includes most RVs, trailers, and larger trucks. If you're in this situation, you can still get the experience by taking the free park shuttle. Glacier National Park is a popular destination, so it's important to plan your visit well in advance. To access the Going to the Sun Road, Many Glacier, Two Medicine, and North Fork area, you need to get a vehicle reservation. At the time of this video, the reservations were made available approximately four months in advance, but if you don't secure yours that early, you can apply the day before your visit at 8 a.m. Mountain Time. This timed entry allows you access to the area for one day, and in the case of the Going to the Sun Road, it's valid for three consecutive days. We added a link to reserve your spot in the description below the video. We included a few accommodation options near the park in the description as well, so check those out if you need a place to stay. Glacier is home to a significant population of grizzly bears. It's important to carry bear spray with you at all times and know how to use it properly. Familiarize yourself with bear safety protocols. Finally, the weather in Glacier National Park can be unpredictable, so be prepared for changes in temperature and potential rain or snow. Pack layers of clothing, waterproof gear, and proper hiking shoes to ensure that you're ready for any weather that might come your way. If you're planning your Glacier National Park trip, we recommend keeping things organized with our interactive travel planner. Find a discount code in the description below. We also included other important links in the description that will help you with your trip, such as an interactive map so you can get to each place that we mentioned. We'll catch you on the next adventure.